Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how TestNG is better than JNIT? So let me answer. First of all, this TestNG and JNIT both are unit testing frameworks for which programming language? For Java programming language. That's a match. Okay. You can either use TestNG for unit testing using Java programming language, or you can use JNIT for unit testing with Java programming language. But why TestNG is better than JNIT? Because TestNG is powerful than JNIT, and TestNG is solving some limitations of JNIT, and TestNG is better than JNIT. TestNG is flexible, more flexible than JNIT. Okay. What are the reasons behind? which why TestNG is better than JNIT, let me list down for you here. So before going with the list of things, first let me tell you something about JNIT and its limitation, okay? So JNIT is mostly intended for automating the unit tests, okay? Developers generally use JNIT for automating the unit tests in Java programming language, okay? But it doesn't support end-to-end -end testing automation much. I'm not saying it is not going to support, I'm saying it has some limitations where it's not fully supporting, okay, to the level of expectations, okay, that it has to support, it's not supporting, it supports, but it has some limitations because of which it's not fully supporting this end-to-end -end test automation, it has some limitations, okay. So JNIT can also be used for not only unit testing automation, but also for end-to-end -end automation, but coming to the end-to-end -end, uh, automation, it has some limitations where it cannot fully support, okay, to the extent that is required, okay, for automating the end-to-end -end tests. That's where TestNG will come into picture, where it also or fully supports the end-to-end -end test automation also along with the unit testing, okay? And TestNG has the ability to write more flexible tests, okay? That's why TestNG is flexible than JNIT because it has a flexibility to write a more flexible tests, okay? Where you have complete control on execution flow of the code and all those stuff, okay? Than JNIT, okay? And uh, you can write powerful tests with the help of uh, TestNG, guys, okay? That's why TestNG is powerful and flexible and better than JNIT, okay? These are the list of items that I was talking about. So how TestNG is better than JNIT? Uh, TestNG is easier to use, okay? When compared to JNIT, you can, uh, out of all the things that you generally use for test automation and all for, uh, uh, with the help of the unit testing framework, right? TestNG usage is more easier, okay? When you keep using, right, you'll understand that. When I compare JNIT usage with TestNG usage of unit testing for implementation of the end-to-end -end automation test in Selenium, in automation and all, automation and all, TestNG looks easier, okay? You feel feel easierness, okay, in, in case of TestNG. And second thing is the annotation. There are a lot of annotations provided by TestNG and uh, the naming conventions, okay, are very easy, okay? They, um, you can, okay, while reading itself, you can understand what that annotation is going to do. Before method, it's going to run before every test method. After method, it's going to run after every method, okay? That's such kind of easier, easy, easy to understand annotations are there in TestNG when compared to JNIT, okay? Then test prioritization, okay? In uh, TestNG, we have one such kind of attribute like priority attribute by specifying that we, besides the test methods, we can decide in which order this uh, test methods need to run, okay? So we can prioritize the test in the order in which they have to run, which is possible in TestNG than JNIT. Then we can perform data-driven testing, okay? With the help of data, data providers, which are provided by TestNG, okay? We can perform data-driven testing where same test can be run multiple times with the by providing multiple sets of data instead of creating the test multiple times for each and every set of data we'll create this test only one time and uh, we can pass multiple sets of data to it and make it data driven okay with the help of data providers okay we can supply the data to that method from the data provider methods and uh, you know the same test method can run the number of times that you want okay which is possible in test engine when compared to JNIT. And grouping of the tests is possible, okay? The flexibility of uh, grouping the tests in a better way is possible in TestNG where, you know, you can group the tests into different categories like a uh, few tests into smoke category, few tests into regression, few tests into sanity and so on, okay? Like that we can group the tests. There are some separate attributes in TestNG for doing that. So whatever the limitations that are there in JNIT are now, you know, are resolved in TestNG, okay? generates better HTML reports and compared to the JNIT reports, you'll feel that uh, TestNG reports are more better looking, okay? And more annotations are available, okay, in TestNG. Compared to JNIT, there are a lot of annotations available in uh, TestNG because of which it's more flexible, okay. I'm saying that TestNG has ability to write more flexible because of the, the reason behind that is annotation. These are the different annotations, even as a test and all. A lot of annotations are there 
when compared to uh, JUnit, right? Uh, this kind of extra annotations are there because of which the tests are more flexible. Okay. And parallel execution of the test is uh, supported by test ng, but it's not supported by JUnit. Parallel execution means uh, you can, it's very easy to enable the parallel execution in test ng. Okay. Uh, because of which, uh, you know, the test will run simultaneously. Okay. Just to save the time, right? You can run the scripts uh, simultaneously. Your automation scripts, multiple automation scripts or tests can run simultaneously because of this feature. And in TestNG, we have this uh, different type of listeners, good number of listeners are there in TestNG. So this listener generally li listen to the events raised by this uh, test methods when they get executed. Based on the type of the events, we can, you know, perform some actions, okay? By writing some code in the listener methods, we can perform different actions for different events raised by this test methods, which is not possible in JNIT, okay? So like this, JNIT is kind of more flexible, powerful, and better than, okay? TestNG is more better than, JNIT, okay. Test engine is more powerful, more flexible, and more better than JNIT. Okay. These are the reasons behind that. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.